Greetings, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. I hope you're doing well today. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super lovely stitch called Diamonds and Cubes. And it's really easy to work up. Now for this piece, I used Pound of Love. Um, it is a four weight yarn, um, although it's a baby soft yarn, so it runs a little bit thinner, more of a three weight. I used an H size hook. And for this example today, I'm going to be using, I think this is Loops and Threads Impeccable. It's just, it's a worsted weight yarn and a size I hook. Doesn't really matter as far as the gauge is concerned, just whatever feels good for you. Um, as far as the yarns are concerned, no, I'm not sponsored, but I, I like to let you guys know what it is that I am using. And what's really great about this stitch is it works up really easy. It's an easy repeat to follow, and you can make it whatever width you want um, with a uh, you know relatively easy multiple to go by. Um, and uh, so this would be a great blanket, especially a baby blanket. Um, absolutely gorgeous. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I've got my eye hook here, and you're going to need a base chain, which is going to be a multiple of eight stitches plus an additional six stitches. So I did two multiples of eight plus the extra six, so that's 16 plus six, so that's 22 stitches, and that's for my example here. So you can do however many multiples of eight, so if you have three multiples of eight, you've got 24. Just add another six, you got 30 for a nice wide scarf, or just keep going, just as long as it's in a multiple of eight plus six, and you can make it however wide you want. I know that sometimes it's not easy to find uh, the uh, the repeat as far as how many multiples you need, and then you have to do a lot of guesswork. So for row one, let's get right into it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start um, by doing a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. like so, easy enough. Then we chain four, one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna skip the next three chains and single crochet into the fourth. So we went into this stitch here. So we're skipping one, two, and three, going into the fourth with a single crochet. And so we've got a bit of a, a loop going down there. Be sure to do that first single crochet because it's where we're going to anchor our work. You'll see what I mean when we do the next pass. So what we're going to do is we're going to repeat that by chaining four again. One, two, three, four. And skip three chains. One, two, three. Going into the fourth with a single crochet. So I get another loop, chain four, one, two, three, four. Again, into the fourth chain, do a single crochet stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Then go into the fourth chain again. And we are just about at the end of the road here. So we're going to chain four one last time. One, two, three, four. And into the last chain, we're going to do a single crochet. And that is the end of row one. Row two. Alrighty, so for row two, we're going to start by chaining up three. One, two, three. Turn the work. 
now into this chain space here that we created this loop. All right, we are going to do four double crochets into the loop. So that's one. two, three, and four. All right. Then you chain two. And we're going to do a single crochet into this chain space, the next chain space. So we did the four doubles, chain two, single crochet into the next chain space. Okay. And then we chain two again and into the next chain space, four more double crochets. Two, three, and four, chain two again, single crochet into the next chain space, like so, chain two, and then into this last chain space, we're going to do four double crochets, it's two, three, and four. Then, last but not least, do a double crochet into this single crochet where we said our anchor was going to be. Like so, right into that single crochet stitch. So, technically speaking, we have five on this end, five on this end, if you count this as a double, and we've got one in the middle here, one cluster, and then we have our single crochets. So it's basically, you know, dot, dash, dot, dash, dot, you know, if you want to go by Morse code. Um, <clears throat> no, it's, a, it's an alternate. All right, so that's the end of row two. Row three. All right, so we're going to start row three by chaining up one, turn the work, and into the first stitch, we're going to do a single crochet, and that's right here, right into here. We're going to do a single crochet, you know, not into these doubles, but into the first double that we did. We're doing a single crochet. Okay. Then we're going to chain four. Okay. Now into this chain two space, we're going to do a single crochet stitch. Chain four again. Into the next chain two space, we're going to do another single crochet stitch. Chain four again. One, two, three, four. Skipping over this uh, cluster of four double crochets into the next chain two space, we're going to do another single crochet stitch. Chain four. into the next chain two space, another single crochet stitch, chain four, okay, now into the top third chain, which is this one right here, we're going to do our last single crochet. It can be a little tough to get in there, but little bit of persistence and patience, you can do it. And there we go. So as you can see, 
we have a bit of a diamond going on there. And a box, another diamond, and there we are. So that's the end of row three. Row four. Alrighty. So now for row four, we're going to chain up five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Turn the work. Now into this first chain space here, we're going to do a single crochet, like so. Looks a little weird now, but trust me, it won't when we do another pass. All right, so we chain five, single crochet into the chain space. Now we chain two into the next chain four space, which is right above this diamond here. We're going to do four double crochets. So it's another cluster. Like so. Chain two single crochet into the next chain space, chain two, into the next chain space, four double crochets, two, and three, and four, chain two. Now into this last chain space, single crochet, chain two, and then we're going to do a double crochet into this last single crochet space right there, as you can see, our anchor. And there we go. So as you can see, we had a diamond here, and now we're going to have one here. It's going to be a checkerboard kind of effect, and it'll become like second nature once you get the repeat down. And I'm going to do this a couple times because I really want to make sure that you guys got it. Um, it'll become very much easier. So that's the end of row four. Now we're going to do row five, and that will set us up for our repeat. Alrighty, so row five. Let's see. We're going to start by chaining up one. Turn the work into the first stitch here. We're going to do a single crochet, like so. And now we're going to chain four. into not this first space, but the second space here. Okay. Do a single crochet. So we've created another completed diamond there, little box. Okay. Chain four again. into this next chain two space, single crochet, chain four, and into the next chain two space, single crochet, chain four, my yarn's all tangled at the end, sorry. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Into the next chain two space, single crochet. And now, last but not least, this looks like, oh, great, where do we go in? Don't worry. I'll show you. 
we're going to chain four one last time. So it's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to do a single crochet into the third chain. So that's one, two, and three. So it's this one right there. Now another way that you can do it is you can go into the third chain from the side here. So that would be, and it's a little tricky, but one, two, three. So it's th the third from either direction, which makes that fairly easy. You know, if you want to go from either side, really. And there we are. So as you can see, one, two, three. And the reason why I'm stressing this is because um, I know a lot of you have difficulty counting the side chains. I, I totally get it. Now, what you could quite conceivably do, and I will not judge you for it because I've done this sort of thing myself, is if you don't want to go into an actual stitch, what you could quite easily do is just go into the space. And personally, I think it looks just as fine, you know, no worries, you know. And it actually, it's a lot easier to do um, than looking for the uh, the actual chains. It goes a lot quicker. And to be perfectly honest, nobody really is going to notice except for you. But eh, to each their own, right? All right, so that is the end of row five. Now, for this pattern, the repeat is rows two through five. And I'm going to go through that with you right now. Okay. All right, so this is the beginning of the repeat. So row two. So we're going to start by chaining up three. Turn the work. And as you can see, we have a cluster down here. So we need to have a cluster up here if we're going in the whole checkerboard formation, right? And that is a great way of knowing where you're at within the pattern. Just look at what you've done and see, oh, okay, do, 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 do. All right, so up here, we need another block. So after chaining up three into this chain space, four double crochets, Two, three, and four. All right, so now in this area here, we're going to need another mesh block diamond thingy. <laughs> so we need to go down this way. So that's going to be chaining two and a single crochet into this next chain four space. Chain two again. And we need another block above this space here. So that is four double crochets into this chain four space. One, two, Three and four, chain two into the next chain four space. We do a single crochet, chain two, and last but not least, we need another cluster block. So into this chain four space, four double crochets. And then last but not least, a double crochet into that first single crochet, right there. And that's the end of row two. Row three. Okay, going to start by chaining up one, turn the work, single crochet into the first stitch, like so. Chain four, single 
single crochet into this first chain 2 space. Chain 4. Single crochet into the next chain 2 space. Chain 4. Single crochet into the next chain 2 space. Chain 4. Single crochet into the next chain 2 space right there. Chain 4. And then single crochet into the top of this third chain. And this double, so to speak. There we go. Ta -da! And that's the end of row three. Row four. Okay, I'm going to start by chaining up five. Turn the work. Okay, so into this first chain four space, single crochet. Chain two. Into the next chain four space, we need to create a cluster over this empty block, this open block. So, four double crochets. It's two. Three, and four. Chain two. Single crochet into the next chain 4 space, chain 2, 4 double crochets into the next chain 4 space, 1, 2, 3, and 4, chain 2, into this last chain 4 space, single crochet, chain 2, and then double crochet into that single crochet at the end. Ta -da! And that's the end of row 4 for the repeat. Row 5 on the repeat. Okay, so last but not least, we have a chaining of 1. Okay. And then we're going to do a single crochet into this first stitch here. Okay. Chain four stitches. Single crochet, not into this first space, but into the second chain two space. We've got our finished open block there. Chain four. Single crochet into the next chain two space. Chain four. Single crochet into the next chain two space. Chain four. Really? <laughs> There we go. Single crochet into the next chain 2 space. And then chain 4. And then last but not least, single crochet into the third chain to anchor it down. And that is the end of row 5 for the repeat. It's as easy as that, my dears. And I really hope that this has been enjoyable and helpful because, hey, this, this is what I do <laughs> just for you guys. 
and as you can see, it works up nice and quickly. And uh, in fact, you know what? I'm going to do a couple more rows just because I love this stitch. <laughs> um, I'm going to go a little faster. I'm not going to, you know, do the, the counts, but, um, you know, just so you can see just how easy it really is. Okay. All right. Yes, I know. I'm a force to be reckoned with, right? Right. <laughs> All right, so we need another solid block up here. So we're going to start by chaining up of three. Turn the work. <clears throat> four double crochets into this chain four space. One. Two. Three and four, chain two, single crochet into the next chain four space, chain two, four double crochets into the next chain four space, one, two, three, four, chain two, Single crochet into the next chain four space, chain two, four double crochets into the next chain four space, one, two, three, four, and a double crochet into the last single crochet. Okay. Chain one, turn the work, single crochet into the first stitch, chain four, single crochet into this chain two space here, chain four, single crochet into the next chain two space, chain four. Single crochet into the next chain two space, chain four. <laughs> right, okay. Single crochet into the next chain two space, chain four. And then single crochet into the top of the last double crochet at the very end. There you go. Then we chain five. Single crochet into this chain four space. Chain two. Four double crochets into the next chain four space. chain two, single crochet into the next chain four space, chain two, four double crochet into the next chain four space, chain two, single crochet into this last chain four space. Then we chain two and double crochet into the last single crochet. Okay. Chain one, single crochet into this first stitch. Chain four. single crochet into the second chain two space, like so, chain four, single crochet into the next chain two space, chain four, single crochet into the next chain two space, chain four, single crochet into the next chain two space, chain four, and
and single crochet into the third chain from the bottom or from the side, either or is good. Or you can just go into the chain space itself, which is equally fine. It's okay, I don't judge. <laughs> I love you just the way you are. Alrighty, and so as you can see, that was a pretty quick repeat. And like I said, yes, I was going to go fast, but I wanted to show you <clears throat> that you really can work this up pretty quick, and it looks so lovely, absolutely, positively. So listen, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, just like I always do. And if you did, please hit the, the little thumbs up button. Your support means ever so much to me. If you have any questions, comments, what have you, please do so in the uh, little comment section down below. I like hearing from you guys. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button because I try to post videos as often as I can, whether they be knitting, crocheting, or audiobook narration. And uh, so listen, until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.